Alright guys, we are going to get a reading in. Um, I'm going to pull from the grain from the thousand, uh, the deck of a thousand spreads and let's see what Spirit wants to tell you today. finances. About a hobby that you have. Hobbies in your talents. Your health. And what spirit wants to tell you about your romantic life. Okay, hold on. I'm going to see if I can get this closer. Okay. Alright, so let's get into this. I have already pre-selected the cards. I will go ahead and shuffle and I'll be right back. First of all, we have finances. Um, this is someone who has been told to watch their finances. Because they could be going through like a downtime right now. Um, but I have a feeling that with your hobbies and talents, with new things like being like a new entrepreneurship coming to it there could be something where um the hobbies and talents that you actually love could be transformed into where you actually are supposed to make your finances uh you have august here so i'm i'm assuming you're gonna see your fruition in august and i have a feeling that some people it keeps getting pushed back because I would seen March before, but now it's like moved back to August. So, if you have some kind of a, a talent or a hobby that you do, you need to put the work into it. Because if you've slacked off, there it's like pushing it back. Like if you're not fully ready for something, Spirit's going to keep pushing it back until you are. You know, because as the saying, as my saying goes, you know, nothing in life is... Um, certain except for death tax and the major arcanas. Well, you don't have major arcanas here yet. So these things will still come at time in time when the time is ready. And when the actual divine time is ready is when you get yourself ready. Because there, in a spirit's time, there is no actual thing as time. Like, that's man-made. It's when something is ready to come into our life. And if we are wanting this... To come into fruition we have to get our life ready for it in the first place okay now um with health you have triumph over obstacles strong emotions passion love or hate time to get out of a situation and the stork um birth of something new so there is either someone could be you know, ready to step into something new with their health. Like maybe they had something wrong and the fire is being put out by this pail of water. Like some kind of health issue is going to be fixed and something new is going to come about. But I, I feel here that there's going to need to be there's going to be need to be like a new health regiment come in because to help take care of this issue. I don't know if it's eating right. I don't know if it's stopping smoking. I don't know if it's stopping drinking. I don't know if it's 
stopping doing drugs. You know, it's something that has to do with the health. Or I don't know if you're going to like a new, you know, like a new, a new, a complete new diet or something like that. But this is, the Spirit's putting this in a place for you to get healthier now at this time. Okay, with the romance. We have the tying the knot, the ring, and the throne. We have also have barrel and wall here. We have dog wealth. We have the rooster, and we have the tent. Now, we have some kind of a temporary situation, and I don't know if it's someone putting someone on a throne because of money or something. I don't know. Someone here is putting up a wall. The wall is because of misunderstandings, like things that. You know, we may have think it's kind of like, um, it's like the honeymoon phase where someone has someone on a throne, you know, and they think that once they tie the knot, it'll be all perfect and everything. But this is that that situation's always going to be temporary in every relationship. Then eventually, it's going to set into place of who this person really is, the way that they really are the way that they do things and the truth will come out as a, to who this person is how this person is well right now someone has up a wall and I think that it's because they don't really fully understand this person or they're trying to but you know everything hasn't came out yet but this person has either you or your person has the other person on a throne and Spirit's saying you can only do that temporarily because people are still human. You know, they're going to make mistakes. They're going to do things wrong. They're going to do things right as well. But, you know, they're not perfect. And this is someone who has their person on this pedestal of being perfect, you know. And everyone's always going to fall from that because we're not, well, I mean, obviously we're not perfect. I don't know how many times I'm going to keep saying the word perfect. <laughs> All right, everybody has something wrong with them. I don't care what they say. All right, with finances, you have the hermit card here. Um, so it could be taking a time out to look at everything. You know, is this the right job for me? Do I wanna stay here? Because underneath the deck, you have the full card followed by the sun. And judgment, okay. Well, you have all major arcanas here. Look, and actually, the next card is also a major arcana. Something new can be birthed because something could be put to an end. So that could be the reason why judgment is going to be called upon this. And we're going to need to take a new start. We're going to need to begin somewhere else because something completely ended. The tens mark the endings. It's like the ending of something, like the end of a hardship, the end of a relationship, the end of um, here, because it's in the finance career. It's the end of this certain finance. Like, way of making money this way is going to end, but it is, with the full card here, you literally have a new beginning, one that is going to make you happy, you know? Okay. And it probably has to do with your hobby and your talents here because it directly links straight to that. You have the High Priestess and the Six of Swords. Okay, so this is someone's keeping a secret about wanting to move on to something. wanting to move on to something somewhere where it's a lot smoother, where it's not as chaotic, where it's not as hectic, where people, you know, maybe people, there's no rats here. I don't know. Whoever is at your, there's someone at your place of wherever you're doing this who just has kind of thrown a wrench into it. Maybe you're like, with your hobbies and talents, maybe there was just a way that you were doing something and it it was just set into place to where it was a habit and spirits just trying to shake you up to get you to move to somewhere else where it could 
go a lot smoother, be a lot easier, you know, because you have the, um, the nine of swords here. These look like copper chips. <laughs> I don't know, this is a brand new deck. But yeah, this is like, you know, maybe something's just getting old. Maybe something is wearing itself out and it's time to move to some, a new way to do this hobby or this talent. Maybe you're going to be shown something um, new. A new way to do something that is easier. Maybe a new way to do something that would make your job a little bit smoother and maybe that's how you're gonna turn this hobby and this talent into finances you know like maybe if your hobby is like woodworking or building stuff or something like that you know you're gonna be shown a new way to do something that's gonna make your job a whole lot smoother and you may look back and be like yeah well I miss the old times where it was a little bit more hectic and stuff but you know and ultimately you'll be thankful you know you know, thank you for showing me the, of the way of doing this to make my job a whole lot easier. Even though, you know, I may miss this or this. I mean, because you have the Wheel of Fortune here, you know, um, with the strength. So this is going to, to cause you, this is going to take you being strong and knowing what your worth is and knowing that you can make it through because you know like in the original card she's sticking her hand in the lion's mouth proving she has no fear going forward and in this one like they're they're they've got a polar bear <laughs> you know they they're roping a polar bear okay let's see here with the health Okay, some of you guys may need to quit drinking. Look, because this Three of Cups card talks about drinking. You've got health problems here. Um, the five six and seven of one so you're moving up with the death card okay so and don't worry the death card doesn't actually mean someone dies it's like you know this is someone who's trying to is being shown away the things that they're supposed to go you know they see how to capture that flag um, and they're being shown the way to go to get there, but they're just kind of fighting against it. They're trying to, um, they're trying to either fight other people, you know, so that they can have the victory, but they're just going to keep ending up having to fight to stand up for themselves and it could be you know something with drinking you know I don't know take that as it resonates it's whatever the health issue is here something here is causing a problem in someone's health with this pail here it looks like someone's gonna pour something out and this could also be in past just because Tom um, is irrelevant in any reading you know because time's not real this could be something that is just passed so one could have recently just quit drinking you know to put out this fire that was going on within their body and they're about to hit some of you guys are already here is what I'm being told and you're about to hit this new transformation I think it's like what 30 days 30 or 60 days and it helps rewrite your your health, you know, you should have be a whole lot healthier at this point if it's been 30 or 60 days. Okay, with the romance, what do we got romance here? You got the Empress. Uh, 
have been the lovers. The six of coins. The seven of coins. Queen of page, the Queen of Wands, but you also have the Nine of Wands and the Page of Wands. Okay. Someone could need to come in and tell. Someone could be coming in to tell somebody something here. I don't know. Because you have here the possibility for a marriage. You have it in the top cards and you have it here. This is some in this romance department, this is someone that you see as someone that you could build with long term. Um someone who who you feel like needs to put in an equal give and take and do the work to make this a marriage, to make this marriage work, or I feel like someone's going to come in and tell this person, you know, if you're not going to put the work in to be present, to be in this relationship, what are they going to tell him? What are they going to tell him, Spirit? They're gonna they're gonna tell them that if they don't put the work in and start being present in the relationship and helping, um, because we have the devil card here followed by the tower, um, and this star card is not necessarily a great one because it's matched with the moon. The star card is like someone could have a completely different vision for their life than the other person does and if you are just falling out of the honeymoon phase you know and you're seeing who this person is seeing who you are uh, these people could whoever this is resonating for you could not you could I don't even want to speak this so obviously someone's feeling this but they're not wanting to speak this um, is that they work short term, but they don't work long term because one person's doing all the work and the other person isn't doing their fair share of putting into this relationship here. Because the devil card with the tower, it's like, it's like the toxic situations have to end. Some kind of toxic situation has to end for this relationship to go forward. And this but this is somebody who is going to want to go forward and say this to somebody, you know, because they, they like, they're, they're saying, you know, we have this dream, but you, you're like secretly keeping stuff to yourself. You're not putting into this or you told me something would be one way and it's going the complete opposite and... With the ending card being the Seven of Swords here. Let me clarify that Seven of Swords with a different deck. Hold on. Just to make sure. Seven of Swords here for us, please, Spirit. Here. 
someone's going to say that they're going to need to move to find balance in their life because they're trying to follow their true guidance. You know. But underneath the deck, someone will make a promise. Um, they'll make an intent to, to do it. Or maybe this person made a promise that they intended to keep. But did they keep it? That's the thing. Either way, either way, there's going to be a time for, th someone's going to take some time to think about what they want, what they need, what they can do, what they can't do. You know, because one person here is being divinely guided, whether they are meant to be put together or whether they're meant to be put pulled apart and I have a feeling this is going to be like a 50-50 some of you guys are going to stay whether it's hard or whether it's easy to work through this and some of you guys are not some of you guys are going to walk away to find your balance because this person is throwing your balance off like at first it was all I'm seeing it's all fun and games like yeah let's be happy let's be married let's do this let's do that and you're coming together and you're seeing that this person is not who they said that they were. Um, this is a hard story to tell. Like, I don't even, like, this is a hard reading. So, whoever this is, this is going to be hard for this person to even feel this. Yeah, temperance. With judgment underneath. Again, all major arcanas. I mean... Someone has a spiritual calling, and they have to be in the right place in their life to be able to go towards that. And if someone is hindering someone's spiritual calling, the divine will take everything out of someone's life if they have a spiritual calling, and they're not putting in the work for it. And that could be what's over here. So say if one person is spiritual and one person is not, and one person is trying to pull someone away from this spiritual calling that they're supposed to have spirit, will pull that other person and take them out of their life on purpose. And it's for... And it, it could be for just a short amount of time. It could be for forever. You know, that's... Each person's going to be different there. But if someone has a spiritual calling on their life, they have to step forward. They have to do it. That is their destiny. That is their soul's purpose here on earth. Because you don't want to have a calling and then not do it. Because that's your whole purpose of being here. And if you're whole purpose of being here you're not doing that you're actually hindering what you're supposed to be doing you know spirit will pull you out of that and will put someone else there and you know when you I'm going to tell you right now when you're not walking on your true spiritual path you will get sick spirit will take things from you will take will make things so hard so that you step back into into place to where you remember that you need him in all you need God in all things you know because you as a man you can't do everything yourself you have to have God there to help you you know you can't even relationships you know it takes that third that third strand that third cord which is the divine to connect you together otherwise you're just going to be side by side and with the death card, something will end with the world here, you know, and it will be a completion. Some of you guys are meant to be tarot readers. <laughs> Literally, the tarot reader card pulled up there, you know, and you're meant to be a messenger, one of the messengers, one of the 144,000, one of the messengers, one of the twin flames, one of the the, the messengers that are supposed to come about. You know, you have a calling upon your life and you know this. You have a calling upon your life. You can't not know it. Spirit will definitely show it to you. You will feel it within your soul. You will know that's what your path is. You know, God doesn't just call anybody at any random time. You know, like, or you can't just go to something at any random time and be right in the spiritual path. You know, you get called. You have a calling. And if you look, any true tarot reader that can read the energy and read everything, they all started this 
at the worst time in their life. Like if you are going through something hard, if you're losing everything, if you are losing the love of your life or something like that and everything seems to be going wrong, a lot of times everything goes wrong so that we can get on the right path to where we are meant to be. And that could be, say if tarot reading is your hobby, spirit could be aligning you to get right to where you you need to be so that you can make this something with your finances so that you can level up that let's see here all right let's pull one of these here this is like a kid's game but i pulled these cards out and they work so perfect okay someone pajamas all day this is spirit is saying someone needs to get out of bed <laughs> Eat all the cookies. All right, you've been eating an entire box of cookies. You're not proud of yourself, but yes, you are a little proud of yourself. Okay, this one here is me. I'm not even gonna lie. This one hits me because I've been wanting cookies so bad. And like for me, that's like my self-love thing, you know, um, where um, where like if I've had a hard day, you know, like that's like a small reward. Like there's certain things we need to do for ourselves to put ourselves in the self-love, especially like say <laughs> uncomfortable playing right and looking after children. Okay. So someone is having a hard time looking after kids. Um, like, and so they're stressed out. So maybe they're stress eating. I don't know. <laughs> Some people do it for self-love. Some people do it for stress eating. All right. So someone may need to mow the lawn, either the actual lawn or, you know, yourself, like shave your legs. And everything. Awkward high five. This is... <laughs> Like, spirit, I think that spirit is about to smack something into someone's face to make them awaken, you know. And it's funny that Mow the Lawn fell here with romance. So, there could be some sexy time coming and spirit's just telling you that, um, to get ready to prepare yourself, you know. Like, if you're wanting to have some sexy time, prepare yourself. With the health though like literally this could be someone who is just wore out from looking after children and they need to go on vacation <laughs> let me see Yeah, so someone needs to get out of bed and soul search and see where they need to go because it looks like they're going to have a little uphill battle to get there. Let's see here. Turn the computer off then on again. So in other words, something could stop, but it could it go right back into... Um, it might come back on again like something may have not worked before but if you just reset it and redo it again like restart something it, it could work this time okay commute okay so receiving pardoning letter okay so you may need to leave where you are so something could and you may have a little bit more of a drive to get to where you're going or you may have to it may it may be trying to tell you like um, it seems like the bad is gonna catch up to you or you're gonna run out of money but you're gonna get there right in time you may have to leave where it is that you were but you're gonna be okay All right, with hobbies and talents, make a life plan. Spirits want you to make, this is the fourth time barbecue has came up. I don't know if someone is gonna be eating barbecue, if they're wanting to have a barbecue. 
Poppy's in talent is ignoring Dad. <laughs> ignoring Dad, eating the, eating all the cookies, watching TV. You can have a sleepwalk. Okay, so this is someone who isn't seeing how that they are being smug about something. Like they're ignoring that the money's this could be spirit saying to somebody, you need to pay attention to your finances so that you don't overspend, so that you don't overeat, so that you don't overdo something. You need to set a life plan, you need to set a budget, you need to set something here. Or they're saying, this is the way this is going to go. I'm not going to go over this. This is the way this is going to go. I'm not going to go over this. Yeah. Suspicious of neighbors. All right. So, be careful with who you're trusting right now with what you're doing in your hobby or your, your talents. Like, because one, if you go to tell someone, hey, I want to try this new business. Again, remember, you have the rat card follow here. Make sure that you're not telling someone who's going to discourage you, who's going to put you in a bad mood to where you're going to think it's not going to work out because we are just trying to guide you. Remember, as I said over here, if you have a friend who's trying to discourage your path, like say your soul path, a spiritual path, they're going to remove that person from your life. I don't care whether you're dating them. I don't care whether they're your friend. I don't care whether they're your family. Spirit will remove that person from your life if they are trying to completely destroy your soul's purpose in this, in this life. So just be cautious who you tell your stories to and what you have planned, especially if they're like a negative Nancy. Someone needs to take a shower <laughs> or a bath. Um, and eat. Okay. Someone needs to shower and eat right. Or bathe and eat right. Um, but yeah. Make sure the people that you have in your life right now, especially if you are in hermit mode, in soul searching mode, um, So that you don't put leave just by communicating with these people that they don't try to persuade you the wrong way. All right. All right. In your romance. Um. In your romance like someone could be becoming cynical about their person and they could be wanting to do something on their own maybe like this person just needs some time to their self to do the laundry <laughs> all right someone needs some fresh clothes for their laundry you know um, under the deck there you had um, help someone move. So either you or your person may be wanting to move. It could be wanting to move in. Maybe this is someone who is becoming cynical about someone who is wanting to move in. I, I'm not 100% sure here. Maybe someone's deciding maybe they don't want to move in. Maybe someone's deciding they do. Yeah, go to a barbecue again. friends that you haven't seen in a while. Everyone seems to be really grown up, but you're on your ninth hot dog. Okay, so in your romance department, this is someone who needs to grow up. This is somebody who maybe they've never had like a serious relationship, a serious romance. This could be, you know, like a younger person or it's just someone who's older but they've never experienced this yet. Um... They've never experienced doing this all on their own, you know, and they easily fall for scams or something that someone says or someone does. Either that or this person is very manipulative and they know.
here you've got this started with irony but it turned into something you legitimately love doing why don't grown-ups do this all the time this is like I don't know it's kind of like maybe like um Spirits being told in your romance, you know, go back to something that you've seen that works like a long time ago, like something that's easy, you know, like having fun together or something, you know, because it seems like this, whatever romance this is, it's, it's kind of rocky right now. And it's because there's no happiness. There's no laughter. There's no something. It's like this, this relationship has went straight from honeymoon phase to straight on time to be an adult it's time to grow up we've got to do this shit and it's already hard um so spirits just saying do not forget to rem don't forget to have the happiness okay cut pineapple the wrong way so this is kind of saying you know look at asks others how they accomplished what they accomplished without ruining things this is like don't self-sabotage don't um don't just try to do anything willy-nilly you know like see how it's worked and this this i'm feeling is probably across the board see how things work see you know you know, maybe like watch a YouTube video of how something happened, how someone took off with their business, how they, even with how they did in their romance, how their, like, how their relationship is so great, you know, because there's tons of relationship counselors online, there's tons of health things online, you know, like workouts, I mean, you can just download YouTube and do a full workout, if you can't go to the gym, you have a phone in your hand, more than likely, if you're not sitting in front of a computer screen, just turn on a workout video channel. They will work out with you, and you can get healthy that way. Um, and with your hobbies and talents, you know, like, someone here could be coming and showing you, hey, there's an easier way of doing something without all the mess. Like, you can do something a little bit easier. It'll take you less time, and it'll get you there. And there'll be less cleanup at the end. <laughs> at the end yeah and then it will help you in the long run because if it saves you time that means there's more time where you can do more of the same thing and put that to the side while that's whatever and you can make more money all right i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna pull one of these here for the oracle and we're gonna end this because we we're already at 40 minutes healing <laughs> that was quick healing and surrender heal past wounds with forgiveness and awareness by healing yourself you can become a healing force to others physical healing can happen once your wounds have been confronted that's in other words you can heal this situation whenever you see what the problem is what is the problem are you sleeping all day so that's why your finances are down are you eating all the cookies <laughs> so that's why your health isn't as good as it can be you have to look at what the the problem is I'm gonna tell you right now some oatmeal cookies are amazing <laughs> and I could eat the whole the whole bag in one sitting but it the next day I'm gonna be sick you know so and then this is surrender let go of the internal and external struggles in your life give up the fight to control others and situations relinquish your need to be right and surrender to a higher power so this is somebody who keeps trying to do everything their self and this is spirit saying listen you need to trust me you need to listen to what I'm saying you don't need to listen to other people because I know what's best for you. I'm guiding you the way that you need to go. So you, you only have to have the faith and we can get you there. <sighs> Man, somebody is winded. Somebody, maybe somebody's wore out. Some, maybe somebody's starting a new workout regimen and they are just wore out. So remember, you don't have to do this all at once. 
you see where your problem is and you can slowly get to where you need to go. Like, you don't have to give up cookies, but maybe just don't eat the whole bag in one sitting, you know? You don't have to quit drinking, but maybe cut back on how much you drink. You don't have to quit smoking, but cut back on it and it's going to help you. Eventually, whenever you cut way down, there may come a time where you don't even feel the need to it for it at all because you've changed your life. You've changed because once you change your mindset, you change your whole world, you know? And so at one point, you know, where you could really love cookies when you change your whole diet, maybe the cookies end up tasting too sweet or it doesn't fit in your diet regimen anymore and you feel like you don't need it except for every now and then or whatever. But, you know, take it as like that, you know, but you've got to find what your problem is first, okay? And then trust in the divine that you can do it with their help, you know, because a lot of people will self-sabotage, aka cut the pineapple the wrong way. Um, and... It's kind of like, you know, when you want to quit smoking and then you quit smoking for three days and then on the fourth day you end up smoking like eight packs in one day because you're missing the taste of it or something like that. Or you cut out all these sweets and then you have a sugar drop and then here you're sitting shoving all these cookies and sweets in your mouth just to level your sugar back up again to get what your body actually needs. Sometimes you have to wean yourself off of it slowly. I'm going to tell you, I've had that happen too. <laughs> like, if you try to go from tons of sweets to no sweets, your body has not adjusted, you know, you'll be having a sugar low and a sugar crash on the ground. And the only way you'll get back through that is to get some sugar back in your body. So just make sure you're doing something the right way, um, the healthy way, and... Spirit says you'll get there as long as you surrender. Surrender to this healing of your body, of your soul, of your finances, of your talents, and what it is that you want for this life. You know, maybe someone is in a self-sabotage mode of, I'm never going to be able to do this. I'm never going to be able to accomplish this. And Spirit is saying, are you trusting me or are you only seeing your failures? Because... You look around, you can see a lot of times spirit will take someone who is completely down and out and has lost everything and lift them up to where they won't ever need anything again. And it's all because they change their mindsets. You change your mindset, you will change your life. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's what I have for you guys. It's been 44 minutes. Um, so check out angel number 44, which is talking about you are being divinely protected you know, you're being um, protected by angels and spirits for this healing that's going on. Anyways, that's all for you guys. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe down below, and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, as always, stay weird. It's what you're doing, making me feel like I'm falling.